What's going on traders? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Thank you guys again so much for joining us for another helpful video within our platform. If you guys are not a part of TechBud Solutions already, the link is in the description. We're a little bit over 29,000 members worldwide with all the different platforms we have available. We have the Facebook group. It's 100% free. You simply have to have a Facebook account. Click on the link down below if you guys haven't joined so you guys can network with you know the thousands of entrepreneurs we have within that platform. All we ask you is to provide a supportive environment uh, to promote overall group growth um, and to share your best practices and your mistakes to help one another out. So let's go ahead and get started for today's video. And today's video is kind of just um, going to be talking about kind of a question that came to my attention um, when I was in lunch. Um, so I was having lunch and I was just kind of thinking, I was just like, you know, I'm doing really well with just different side hobbies and different businesses that, I, that I'm doing right now. Um, and it came down to the answer of um, when I was in Spain, um, a question came up and it's like, you know, they're asking what the average income in the United States was. And it was about 50 to $52,000 based on an article that I read. And I don't know why this came up um, in my head, but I was just thinking, I was like, you know, why aren't people um, making more than $52,000? I, I just felt like that was a very small figure based on, you know, I'm 22 years old, um, my stable source of income exceeds, you know, that specific just, you know, average income of 50 to $52,000. And for those that are asking very quickly, um, kind of what it is that I do, I do it part time and I will be disclosing what it is that I specifically do, um, or at least giving you guys an answer on what it was that I did um, once I leave this position. Um, I respect, I hope you guys respect in a sense, um, my decision to hold it off until I leave this position because I still currently work there. Um, and I know a couple of my viewers are actually from the place that I work for. Um, it's a commission based job. It's again, nothing fancy. Uh, you guys will be surprised on um, probably when I do disclose it that, you know, it, it's nothing fancy whatsoever, but it provided me with a stable source of income that allowed me to qualify for my houses and then allowed me to, you know, branch off into different aspects of investing uh, that has you know, provided me to live this certain type of lifestyle. So um, now I'm going to be living that. I'm going to be most likely leaving that position um, within the next couple of months due to the opportunity that's kind of arising with the different businesses that I have. And when it comes down to opportunity costs, um, my time is most likely more valuable when it comes to investing in this in my specific businesses. So I just wanted to answer that question for those that are going to be, you know, dumping that question down in the description. I will be making a video later on. So I, I appreciate you guys respecting my decision to hold it off until I leave that position. But I definitely want to make sure that once I do leave that I expose you guys to the opportunity that I was, you know, um, able to experience at, an, at, at a young age. So um, kind of going back into it. So I was kind of just thinking, I was like, you know, how does someone that's able, someone that's healthy, someone that can really work um, for the average income in the United States not make more than $50,000? Um, and I 100% don't mean that to like subjugate anyone. I don't mean that to degrade anyone. I don't mean that to like brag. Um, I, I'm really, I was really just asking myself, you know, um, with a different business that I have and with everything it is that I'm doing, I was just thinking, how is it that someone can't make more than that? Um, with the stable source of income and creating different sources of income. I just found it very simple with everything it was that I do in it, everything um, it was that I was doing. I think the most difficult thing that I do, um, or I think the most strange thing that I do for uh, for people to understand has to be trading low cap stocks or, or investing in the stock market. A lot of people don't understand it. It's a difficult concept for people to understand because it, it's such a simple idea, but it comes down to a lot of different like indicators and a lot of different just things that come into play that I think do overwhelm people. It's something that I really enjoy to do. So I think that has a lot to do with it on why I see, you know, success in that. But, you know, with the buying and reselling of different products with just, you know, my um, real estate and stuff like that, like how is it that my different businesses like alone provide me more of more income than, you know, the average person and I don't do anything fancy. I'm not any any better with other than other people with what it is that I do of the buying and selling of cars, motorcycles, of goods, um, of real estate. Like, why isn't it that other people are doing the same thing that I'm doing? Um, maybe some people aren't exposed to the opportunity, but it, what I really came down to to answer my question, and that's why I wanted to film this video, um, is that people don't have enough money saved. Um, I also read another article that about 67% of Americans don't have $1,000 in their savings account. What I mean by that is based on that statistic, it's saying that 1,000, um, based on 67% of the population, they don't have $1,000 know, saved in their saving, in their savings account. That is just, that's just hard for me to understand and kind of like put in like really, really like grasp. Um, we have a little bit over, 
um, 28,000 members within our Tech Bud Solutions um, platform. And when we ran a little like poll, um, I asked, you know, what your average brokerage account is. Um, in our average brokerage account, there was, you know, huge outliers of people that had like, you know, 50 to even $100,000 plus within the brokerage account. Um, but there were also people that had maybe a couple hundred. The average account was about 1,256. Um, so all those people are, you know, are, you guys are all doing, you know, way better than 67% of the US population. Um, but it came down to my answer. Um, you need money to make money. So when it comes down to every business that I have, when it comes down to everything that I choose to invest in, it has to do with money. Um, and I need to invest in, I need to have it to be able to make money off of it. Like when it comes to buying and selling these different motorcycles, I'm on my second bike for this month. I just bought it actually yesterday and I plan to sell it for about 700 to maybe $1,000 profit. I didn't do anything fancy. I bought it you know, a couple days later after I sold my you know, first one for the month. Um, and at this rate, I'm averaging or projected if I sell it by the end of this week um, to make probably close to or near to about 3,500 to $4,000. That's about forty-eight thousand dollars a year, um, or you know, over forty thousand dollars. That's huge. Um, that's like a lot of money. Um, and how would someone with a stable source of income can they not make an extra, you know, forty-eight thousand dollars and you know maybe thirty thousand dollars just by buying and selling these motorcycles? Well, a lot of people don't have money saved. So the reason that I'm making this video and the reason that I'm talking about this isn't to, and I want you guys, and, and I always feel like this is kind of just like kind of rhetorical, but it's 100% I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm saying this to expose you guys to the opportunity, to expose you guys to the understanding that those that do have more than $1,000 saved, you guys have a leg up on the majority of the US population. You guys are doing something better than the average American. Those that are joining our group, and I don't just want to like kind of, um, brand all of you guys, but you guys are either investors or entrepreneurs that want more than what the average you know, American wants or the average human being wants. And you guys have to understand that. You guys already have a leg up. Now it comes down to properly executing and properly planning. Does that mean that you need to be in our community to be successful? No, but we'd love to you to be. Again, it's a free community. I, I, I don't mean that to like you know make you guys join, but Guys, like you guys, and I'm so impressed because you know, understanding that that stat, and understanding that regardless of what you guys think about the thousand dollars, like you know, those are all you know poor people or whatever that you know don't have a thousand dollars saved. Regardless of what it is, we have a lot of young individuals, and you guys are doing better than 67 of the of the um, of America's population. Understand that. Use that to your understanding that you are doing better than 67 percent of people within the United States. That should be your motivation. You should see that you're doing something better. Now, how is it that you're gonna you know, continue to better yourself? Well, what I did was that I tried to work as hard as I could to making sure that I had a stable source of income. That was one of the biggest things when everyone asked me, you know, what is it that's something that I should work on in the very beginning? For me, again, I'm more of a conservative investor. I'm more of a conservative trader. With everything that is that I do, I'm a little bit more conservative and I really rely on the stable source of income and I want that to be my foundation. I don't need it, but I just want it to qualify for the different things and to at least have it there. It's just the type of person I am and it's always what I would recommend if you want to invest in anything because if you don't have something to rely on, how are you supposed to you know, go all in? I mean, I guess you can if you're a huge risk taker, um, but to see I think the highest rate of success, it takes a little bit more time because a lot of you guys are at school, a lot of you guys are managing families and stuff like that and I get that, but having that stable source of income to branch off into different markets, having your biggest piece of pie and then starting to take you know a little bit of that and start investing it maybe in real estate, taking a little bit about of that and start you know and starting your own business and just investing in stocks if that's something that you guys see value in, investing in, in the buying and selling of different products, whatever it is, whatever it is that you guys do, understand that based on my experience and the people that I'm mentoring, not the quickest way to see success, but the most I think strategic and the easiest way to achieve success long term is to have a stable source of income, to save your money, and to start investing when you have that money in whatever it is that you personally see value in. And it really comes down to that. This video kind of started, or this question kind of started off on like, you know, why do, you know, 67% of Americans not have more than $1,000 saved? And why does the average American make just about 50 to $52,000? I understand that that is a lot of money and you guys can actually do a lot with that money, especially if you do it at a very early age. But understand that for those, all I wanted to make this video for was to remind those people that have more than $1,000 
that you guys are doing something good. I just wanted to remind you and kind of spark that interest that you guys are doing something good and I want you guys to not give up and continue working to not be average, to continue working to grow your own business, to continue working in, you know, investing in stocks, continue working and in investing in different markets, but understand the importance of having a stable source of income. And realistically, is it smart to invest in something and maybe the stock market when that's going to be your only source of income? Realistically, if you're just getting into investing, that's not what I suggest for you to do. And I always say that. I, I've been interviewed by different people um, with different channels and actually um, in, in radio talk show hosts. And it, it comes down to understanding that, you know, it's, it's not a make it or break it for me. It's I'd much, much rather plan out my trade, have my foundation for me, right? Work for that and then build off of that. It takes a little bit more time. It's not ideally, you know, what everyone wants because it requires a good amount of work. But if you're willing to work for it and, and you see yourself and the numbers make sense on how with, you know, making, you know, 40 to $50,000 for, you know, your first couple of years and then branching off of that can really get you to the position that you guys want in life, then why not put down the time and just make it happen? And that, that's the last thing. A lot of people dedicate a lot of time to my videos. A lot of people dedicate a lot of time um, to learning, which I understand the importance of. And I always encourage you guys to try to learn the most that you guys can with whatever it is that you guys want to invest in. But understand that execution is one of the biggest and most important things in being an entrepreneur and being successful. Is because if you never, you know, shoot, you never know if you're going to score. A lot of people get too caught up in this whole idea of planning that they never actually do. They never actually take the step of going for it. I think the biggest thing that I've experienced in that way um, is you know, not leaving my stable income um, or my stable job and moving on just to solely focus on my businesses. And that's why within the next couple of months, I'm gonna make that jump. And it's uh, like I can do it and now I've, I've built enough of a foundation or enough pieces of pie that I can live off of it. You know, truly, I'm, I'm truly blessed and I 100% understand that, that it's something that I've worked for but I just wanted to talk to you guys on kind of a simple concept, a simple question, and my answer. You know, why is it that people you know don't make more than fifty thousand dollars a year? Um, I think the earlier that you start, the better chance you do you have to really make that. And then once you make, you know, what the average American makes, um, starting off with the the proper you know education, the proper knowledge of you know once you have that stable source of income save your money so when an opportunity you know comes into play you can take advantage of it and maybe you can create a business out of it which will allow you to create an extra source of income and then the last thing is you know continue branching off and and never be you know closed minded always be open to you know new opportunity to new knowledge and uh, try to be the best you can be in everything it is that you guys choose to pursue and that's really how i'm going to end the video um not really sure if it's gonna be very effective for you guys. I just thought it was a very interesting question and I wanted to remind you guys that you guys are doing something very great. Um, I don't care if you guys are not a part of my group. I don't care if, if you guys aren't investing in you know, different things, but if you guys have $1,000 saved, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys are doing better than 67% of the US population. Um, and you guys should remind yourself that you, know, you guys are working hard and um, it's definitely showing. So continue working hard and continue doing the best that you guys can do. Um, and that's it so like always guys um the link is down in the description if you guys haven't joined the facebook platform for tech but solutions um but that's pretty much it if you guys can like and subscribe you know we'd greatly appreciate it but most importantly let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take care guys